Josh Beatty with Texas Farm Bureau. Uh, we're here on some of our, our land today, my family's land uh, uh, here in Comanche County. Uh, as you can see, we've got some, some cattle. We've, we've been in farm intervention for, for many years. Uh, but today, I'm not going to talk necessarily um, about the, the cattle operation or the cows themselves, but rather than um, talk about what they eat. Okay, so as you can see, I'm kind of on two, two kind of different pastures here. Uh, we've got some bare ground and then over here to my left, uh, the grass is actually green, okay? So the, the kicker is, how did that grass get to be green, okay? Versus to where we're standing right now to where it's just plowed dirt, okay? Uh, the, the answer is um, sprigging coastal Bermuda grass uh, to improve this pasture, okay? Uh, we, we picked up this land oh, three or four years ago, five years ago, and we've kind of taken it in sections. Uh, back over here on the far side, we, we sprigged that probably five years ago, and then this right here where the cows are, we, we sprigged that uh, two or three years ago. So uh, we've taken this in sections, and now, uh, 2020, it's time to get the rest of this. Oh, there's probably um, 40 acres here, 30 acres to, to get sprigged. So, so how do we do it? So over the next couple of videos, I'm gonna explain the, the process of sprigging the coastal Bermuda uh, to get it to grow here um, in this dirt. So what's happening right now, as you can see, we plowed this many times, but we plowed this most recently a few weeks ago, and you can see um, it, it's rained some, and there's some little weeds popping up, and it's a little bit harder. There's some tracks there. Um, so in order to prepare it to uh, get the sprigs, we need to plow it one more time. And as you can see right here, um, my grandfather actually, who's 85 years old, he is running the tractor as we speak, uh, getting this ground prepared. So the reason we plow it, and he's using a, a, a tandem disc, the reason we plow it is um, just to, to loosen the soil, get rid of the weeds, and make it um, the ground a little bit softer for the, for the roots of these sprigs to, to spread. Um, we don't want the weeds and we want that grass to have the, the best chance possible to uh, take, take a, get established and uh, spread out and, and make the, the grass what it is. So um, he's plowing, uh, as you can see he's got several passes here, he'll be plowing for a few more hours and um, the land prep is, is critical because if you don't do this step here, um, the, the time and money invested in the in the sprigs will, will essentially be wasted. So, um, like I say, this will be a several step video, several steps uh, to show you the process of sprigging the coastal. Uh, step one, right now, after many years of work, getting the land the way this is, we've got it pretty clean. Here comes uh, John right now. He's gonna make one more pass on the tractor. Uh, right here by us and uh, in a, a few hours this whole field will look uh, just like this freshly turned dirt and soon enough we will uh, be over here uh, with the sprigs and a different set of equipment and we will uh, plant some grass so look forward to teaching you about the coastal we'll see you at the next thing